So I wasn't too happy with how yesterday went. The edit actually turned out okay, but I didn't get much exercise at all. So I'm going to head out again today. Tomorrow is supposed to be rainy, so I'm not going to get out tomorrow, but it looks okay today. I'm going to head down to the beach. So for today I'm going to head out to a place called Hackley Bay, there's supposed to be a nice wee walk there and I actually got this idea from seeing an Instagram post yesterday, so uh, there's supposed to be a really nice beach and opportunity to get a few good photos and some more drone footage. I don't know which of the two series I'm going to do today, I'm going to try and do the Zoom versus Prime uh, series but it might not turn out that way, so that's a good thing about having the two series is I've got the options of being a little bit flexible. I might end up doing the wide angle V the telephoto. So we'll see how it goes. So that's me arrived down at uh, Newborough and there's a nice wee trail here by the looks of it. Never been here before, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, photos I can scope out coming around here. And I believe the beach is just about a mile along this road and hopefully see some good shots there. So I've got my first composition lined up here, it's looking out over, I'm walking towards the beach, I'm looking out over towards Newborough with the um, sort of bay in front of it there and these new new flats. I'm going to zoom in all the way to 85mm for this and try and compose the image so that I've got approximately a third of the grass in the foreground, third of the uh, bay and Nubara and then a third of the sky as well. I'll pop the image up and talk you through the settings now. So as I said the image was taken at 85 millimeters here, ISO of 100, aperture 8 to try and get everything in focus and shutter speed of 1 125th of a second which should be okay to handhold at 85 millimeters. Nice wee landscape view of Nubara. So for anyone who doesn't know, Newbera is a town in Aberdeenshire, just north of uh, Aberdeen, about 10 miles near Ellen, and it's got this nice wee beach down at a place called Hackley Bay, I think, which is what I'm looking for today. Okay, I've made it to the beach, and you can see the view I've got behind me there. Not the cleanest beach in the world, not the cleanest one I've ever seen, but uh, I think there's going to be a good sweeping landscape shot that I'll be able to get by going up one of those wee mounds behind me there, trying to get a nice elevated position, Let's see what I can get. So I'm up at the top of the wee mound I showed you there and here's what I'm looking at in terms of my composition, basically trying to get that beach front acting like a wee leading line to draw you around the picture towards I think that'll be Balmedi and then Aberdeen in the distant background there and also try and keep the sun uh, nice and prominent at the top of the image as well. 
here's the image I've got and I'll talk you through the settings. Okay, so the image I've got here was taken at 18 millimeters, uh, 1 200th of a second shutter speed, aperture 11, again, try to get everything in focus there, and ISO of 100. I like, quite like the way that the uh, sun's reflection is just producing a little bit of glare on the water. A lot of people don't like that and use a polarizer to get rid of that, but for me, I think it produces quite a nice effect. So I'm now just down on the beachfront down near these rocks and um, I'm going to try a shot with a 35mm prime here as well. Try to use a really low aperture and I'm going to focus on one of these rocks and try and get the just the remains of the water in the background sort of blurred out showing a little bit of bokeh. Uh, see how that comes out and talk you through the settings. Okay, so the picture I got is obviously taken at 35 millimeters. It is ISO of 100, aperture 1.8. Again, try to create that shallow depth of field, which will allow my subject, in this case the rock, to be in focus, or at least the part of the rock to be in focus, and then anything else in the distance there to have been blurred out. Uh, obvious advantage of this lens, creates a really nice image. Uh, rather have a person <laughs> with this lens to be able to photograph, but I uh, thought I'd give it a go and see what I've got. Shutter speed there was one thirty-two hundredth of a second. That was a bit of a mouthful, <laughs> right? Let's see what else I can get. So I'm just on my way to the other beach and made it to the top of this hill here. And looking at this view I've got, zooming in, I think I've got a good shot here for the 85mm telephoto end of the lens. And if this other beach is as good as I think it's meant to be, this could be an interesting little beach versus beach we uh, we competition for this one. So I'll show you the image I've got for this angle and then we'll make our way down to the second beach. So the image I've got is taken at 85 millimeters. It is ISO of 100, aperture 8, again try to get everything in focus, and shutter speed of 1 160th of a second. Quite pleased with this one actually. It looks uh, it's a better shot than I thought I was going to get um, for the telephoto end. So I'm finished at that first beach, but the one I'm actually wanting to see is further along. I just took the Mavic out <laughs> to navigate my way there and managed to take the Mavic over a kilometre away, which I've not done before, um, and started to get a little bit of signal issues, but still pretty impressive. Uh, so I'm going to head over this way and see if I can get to the beach I was originally looking for. Okay, so I've just arrived at this second beach, the one I was actually quite keen from the images I saw online to come and see. And uh, as I was coming over that hill there, I actually said wow to myself. What a beautiful beach and a beautiful view. It's pretty, obviously it's not glorious sunshine, but certainly gonna be a, a beach worth visiting again in the summer when we might get our one day of sun in Scotland, but uh, I'm definitely gonna get an image of this for sure. Every breath you take And every move you make Every bond you break Every step you take I'll be watching you Every single day And every word you say Every game you play Every night you stay I'll be watching you So the area looks something like this and I'm going to play around, take a few images, I'll probably want to cut out most of the shrubs and grasses quite near me, whether I do that by zooming or moving down towards the edge of the cliff there, I will see uh, what works best and pop the image up that I'm happiest with now. Okay, this is the image I am happiest with, it was taken at 24 millimeters so into the wide angle territory there, ISO of 100, aperture 8 to try and get everything in focus and 1 80th of a second shutter speed. Uh, a really beautiful beach this, I hope once I've edited this picture it really does it justice. It's, I like this one so much that I might not even enter this in the competition because I'll definitely want to put it up on my Instagram but I will see when I get home how they, how they all turn out. Thank you. 
So that's me heading home now. Uh, I was much better today. Enjoyed that. Got myself a good walk and still got a fair walk to go to get back to the car. Um, a really beautiful beach. I'm definitely going to come back here in the summertime if we get a nice day. Uh, here are the two images I've entered for this particular comp competition. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, if you agree with the winner that will be revealed at the end of this video. And if you want to get involved with any future vlogs that I do my Instagram poll on, my Instagram is psyking89. I'll put the link in the comments. Thanks for watching this one, till next time.